Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. As always, I'm Arisa Artwork and today's video is quite special because, drum roll please, we just passed a thousand subscribers. Wait a minute! Well, it's been a couple of months since we passed a thousand subscribers but I didn't have the time to make a video. So, as we are recording it right now, we are at 1050 subscribers which is quite awesome for me personally. I mean, yeah, it's not like reaching a million subscribers or anything like that. But to me, it's it's always been my goal actually. Because I'm a small part-time artist and this is my hobby. I love making art, I love editing videos and I love showing my work. Besides, I'm an intermediate artist at best. Nevertheless, I would like to thank everyone who has helped me throughout this journey. The Heavenly Father, the Lord above, for giving me this talent. My parents for letting me continue art and also supporting all my life's choices even though when some of them are doomed because that's what life is you learn from your mistakes you learn from your failures and then improve on it it isn't the end of the world something which the current generation is sadly losing because loss of marks or failure isn't the end of the world it's just something which you should work on and improve in life Next, my art teachers, my school art teacher, Mrs. Nama Jai Singer, who was my all level art teacher, my private art teacher, Mrs. Merlin, who both taught me the techniques of shading and portrait art and opened my eyes to the world of art. My lily sis and Noah, who's been there with me since the start of the channel, my friends, and most importantly, my beloved students. If it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't have gained a thousand subscribers by now. So, what I'll be doing today is that I will be revisiting my very first successful portrait ever and I will try to recreate it with the skills that I have learned over the years just to see how far I have come and improved. My very first portrait was of one of my all-time favourite actors who is none other than Tom Welling, the actor who played Clark Kent aka Superman in the CW Small TV series when I was growing up. Now, what I have with me is another drawing I did back in 2015 of the same first drawing. I cannot find the first drawing actually, but I'll have it on the screen somewhere. So here it is. The first drawing, the second drawing and also the reference pic that I used. It's actually another sketch by someone else. However, with the practice and experience I have gained over the years, it is safe to say that neither the first drawing nor the second drawing nor the reference drawing looks exactly like the actor himself. So, I selected this pic which is closely similar to the drawings and I decided I'll base my art off of this pic. So let's start sketching. Okay, so as the other me is on the other hand drawing, I on the other hand will be answering a couple of questions which I requested you all to send me. Therefore, I set these questions in a certain order so it will be easy for me to go through them now. And now the first question, how did I get the name Arista? Well, to be honest, it wasn't the first name I came up with. The first name I came up with was quite simple. It was actually the sketch. I even had a logo and until this day I still save all the digital work of my art pieces in that folder, the sketch. However, then soon I got to know that there was another artist by a similar name who was none other than my good friend Sketchum. So then I had to change the name again. So then I started translating the name artist into different languages to see what fits. And then I came to Spanish, which artist translates into artista, which was kind of nice. However, I removed the middle T of Artista and then turned it into Arista. And that's how the name Arista came to be. Next question, who are my inspirations? 
Well, growing up, as you all know, I loved watching art videos. So channels such as ADC Art Attack, Box Office Artists, Pop Cross Studios, Jaza, Crypto, Ten Hundred, ZHC, Drawholic, and also Artology were my inspirations, and I still watch their videos till this day. Next, why and how did I start my YouTube channel? So before the channel, I only posted my art on Instagram. But I had this need to do more. I wanted to show the process of my work, like the channels that inspired me. And by then, I already had the knack for editing videos. So I took my phone, set it up on a mic stand and started recording. And I edited all my videos in the phone which I had back then. After that, I reached out to my little sis Ann Nova, who was living in Australia at the time. And I asked her help to make an email and also the channel basing it all in Australia. I do not remember for some reason back then, I believed that uh, if you make the channel and the email account basing it in any other country other than Sri Lanka, I would be able to get more views. Which obviously wasn't the case. Next question, what are the types of color pencils and markers that I use? Well, currently I use the Atlas color pencils, Derbent water color pencils, Settler water color pencils and for markers I use the Vince and Newton skin tone markers along with the touch brush markers and touch soft head markers and as well as fabric paint. And you will get to see me using more brands and more mediums in the new videos to come. I'm gonna show you what I'm going through. You out of your comfort zone Cause I need more of the truth right now Okay, so the next question is quite tricky. Do I do art as a hobby or just to get subs? Hmm, well, art is my hobby but I do not do the channel just to get subs. I mean, I love getting subs because at the end of the day, what's the point of posting a video if you get only like 10 views and 10 subs each time? So yeah, I do love getting subs. And like I said before, I love making art and I love editing videos. And this channel has pushed me to improve on my skills in art and also video editing. And I don't see myself stopping making either of those anytime soon. I hope that gives a certain clarity for your question because I actually don't know how to answer that. You know, when I was young, I never used colors. And this is a problem which most young and new artists suffer, that is sticking to pencils only. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a black and white pencil shading artist, but I still say using color will massively improve your art in different areas which you never know. Whatever it is, pencils, markers, watercolors, learn to use them and your art will improve overall and you will learn different tones and how colors interact with each other. And here we are everyone at the end result of today's redrawing video. I honestly think I have improved since the start of the channel. But what do you think? Have I improved? Do you like the drawing? Let me know down in the comment section below. And since we are at the end of the video, thank you once again for everyone that has helped me throughout this journey. And for the ones who are still watching, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, my name is Arisha Arbrook and I'll see you in the next video.